Hello. Good evening, everybody. I took a little road trip a little while ago. I went down some back roads to uh, Hazel Green, Alabama. Uh, I had spotted some plants growing down some roads uh, down that way. It, uh, Alabama is right here. At, I live right at the state line. And so, I wanted to show you some things that I found. It was an abandoned house, an abandoned barn, and these were all growing just right up the driveway of this, this place. And I've started deciding that y'all send me so many pictures to identify. There's got to be some way I can start cataloging these somehow. So when I do find some, I'm going to start videoing them and then uploading them. And then that way we get to learn together as usual. Now, this wild lettuce right here is one that the Agriculture Extension Agent took a picture of. So we should be getting an ID on this pretty soon. The the stalk is not heavily purple. You can see what he was talking about, how different shaped leaves can be on the same plant. We've got these, and then we've got these here at the top. Now, right down the road from that is this one. It has a completely different leaf shape. This is the one I feel pretty strongly is the canadensis because it has that arrow shaped tip. This one I feel like is a small canadensis, but I don't know because there are some things that are slightly different about the plant. So I got that one then. This one is fairly the same. This one to me is different than the others even. Now it's about to set some seed heads, but um, not for a while. These won't even open up once I've cut them. And then this one over here, now you see it's got the purple all the way down and it does have some seed heads that will be forming so this one is really just to start cataloging and detailing the best thing that I can tell you is that they do have a particular type of a growth they do have the fine hairs or prickles along the mid ridge underside the way the plant grows upwards is very specific as well. And of course, they're always going to have the milk sap. If you've got one that doesn't have milk sap or it's clear, you don't have a wild lettuce. So that's just a short video. This is only a piece of what I got. I got five times this much in this stack. So I'm going to go inside and start processing them. I am going to rest this weekend and read a lot of biology and science reports. And then I will be back with y'all over the weekend. So have a good evening. Good night.